So you have a Nintendo Switch and your L or R button is maybe it's not working, maybe it's stuck in a down or up position, maybe it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, maybe sometimes you need to press like really, really hard. I'm gonna give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. I mean, only thing is hopefully there's nothing internally wrong, like your spring or nothing. You just have maybe dust or lint, uh, maybe you got soda or stuck in there or whatnot, all right? So the first thing is make sure, you know, if your L and R is not working or working, just go to your home, go to your home page, go to settings here, and then from settings you wanna go down to controllers and sensors, and then from here, we're gonna go down, we need to do a test input devices, okay? Let's tap on that right there. And now we're gonna tap on the first one, test controller buttons, okay, we'll tap on that. And just make sure your L, so you can see, my L is working as well as my R, okay? Yours may not be working. So, now there's several ways I fixed these like in the past. One way is you can get a toothbrush, kinda wanna go in here to the crevice like that. You can also try like an index card or kind of like a thick piece of paper where you can kind of like glide in there and start cleaning like the sides. And this has worked as well. I've used a Q-tip with some alcohol, just a dab. But once I do this, I have to get a pair of pliers to make the cotton part here like flat as possible. Make it flat as possible. Sometimes I gotta take some of the cotton off. I damp it a little bit and I go in there and I just keep wiping around. And the other way is you can, if you have like dust off, something like this, okay? One, I mean, the toothbrush may work for you. If it doesn't work, try something else, okay? Whatever you have available in your house. But the dust off here seems to work really well as well. You just go ahead and pop that right in here. And as you're doing it, you always want to press, let's just say the right one, the right button is not working. Just keep pressing kind of hard. You want to get all in there. Keep pressing, and you, maybe you want to leave this on here. So you can see that it's working or not, all right? And again, same thing for the index card or you can have like maybe a business card as well. You just wanna kinda of get it here in the grooves. Kinda of push in here. Slide it on all around, okay? All around, keep pressing here. If you don't have the dust off, sometimes as you're doing this, just go ahead and you wanna blow extremely hard, hard as you can, all in here into the crevice, okay? Go ahead and keep doing that all around even on the side here as well, get all in there. Go back here and you know recheck it to see if it's working again. Okay, it's working or it's not. And also, like I said, you know if you have like a Q-tip, you can get the Q-tip here. You might have to take some cotton off and you kinda wanna make it flat, a pair of pliers here. Just make it nice, as flat as possible and then get yourself a little bit of alcohol here. And I just put some in here. Just dab it just a little bit there. And then try to get in there as much as you can, all right? Try to get that cotton in there. You know, especially if you have something sticky in there. Maybe you guys got some Kool-Aid stuck in there, you know? Even on the bottom here, go all around. Keep going, and you know, keep, keep spamming it as well. Don't forget to get under there. And just keep playing with it, and eventually, hopefully you're up and running. If any of these steps work for you, please comment and let everybody else know um, what you actually use to get yours working. All right, good luck, guys.